Before I get started, I'd like to take kind of an overview and look at the information that I was given for my proof and try to think about where I can go with that information. You see here, you're told that I have two perpendicular lines, specifically perpendicular lines intersect at right angles. So it seems like that's probably going to be the conclusion that I'm going to have there. Of course, I can also show that those right angles are congruent to each other. Also, I'm told that BD bisects angle ABC, so it seems to me like I would have two congruent angles up there at the top. Seems like something I could possibly use in a proof. Notice the prove statement. I'm trying to prove that the left-hand side triangle is congruent to the triangle on the right-hand side. So, I'm going to take a look now at how all this goes together. First of all, I can't just have my perpendiculars marked on the diagram. I do need to state that I have right angles. So I'm going to state that angle BDA and angle BDC are right angles. And the reason being, if lines are perpendicular, then they intersect at right angles. If I'm going to prove these triangles congruent, I also need a congruent statement for each of the letters in my statement, whether or not I'm using side, 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 angle, side, or angle, side, angle. So, right angle statement, not enough. I need to state that those angles are congruent. So, angle BDA is congruent to angle BDC, and the reason being, if angles are right angles, then they are congruent. So I have that information. In addition, this angle at the top is being bisected. So I also need to account for that. If an angle is bisected, it is divided into two congruent angles. Again, I need as many congruent parts of my two triangles as I can get, at least until I can arrive at one of my congruence rules. So I can state that angle ABD is congruent to angle CBD. And the reason being, if an angle is bisected, then it is divided into two congruent angles. I now have two congruent parts. You'll notice that there's not another given here that tells me another pair of congruent parts. So I need to take a look at the diagram. Hopefully you notice BD is shared by both of those triangles. It has the same measure for the left-hand triangle as for the right-hand triangle. And the reflexive property tells me that that segment is the same for both. So I can state that BD is congruent to BD. And of course, is by the reflexive property. And finally, my last step, I've now shown that my triangles are congruent. I have three parts here. I have an angle, followed by a side, followed by an angle. You always want to move around the perimeter of a single triangle. And always a good idea to go back and check and make sure that you actually have three congruent statements. So here's an angle relationship. Here is a second angle relationship. There's a side relationship. And so I can state now the triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD. And the reason being the angle side angle rule. Angle side angle. And that is the end of my proof.